So, uh, Bob Bryant got away? I knew I'd never find him in South America. What about the other killer? Yeah, you kinda glossed over that one. Well, I found Jim, not long after my showdown with Ringo. At the time, he was riding with the James Younger gang. Did I neglect to mention that? Jesse James? The greatest outlaw who ever lived? Jesse and his kin rolled with Quantrill when he raided Lawrence, Kansas and killed near 200 people, boy. Ah, nothing great about that. And from there, him and his brother went on to rob banks and trains from Kansas to Missouri. Which is why there was such a rich bounty on their heads. Forty grand for both of them, dead or alive. That's one hell of a payday. forward if I was going to find this here. Stop this train in the first place. Well, the James boys were experts at this. They hopped a freight train, having heard. There was a big payroll in the express safe. So, I hopped the same train. The James Younger gang was decimated after that little fiasco they had in Northfield, Minnesota. So Jesse needed more men and took on the killer I was after, along with a host of others. I was hoping to find my man and put a bullet in his head. Climbing around that train, I must have swallowed a hundred damn bugs before I reached James that. James Young again pulled the first train robbery west of the Mississippi. Sounds like you hold them in high regard. Everyone knows they were the most famous outlaw gang ever. And you took them all on by your nose. Again. I'm finding this all a little hard to swallow, friend. Well, maybe you need to wash it down with some whiskey. By the way, did I mention that that train was flying down the track like a bat out of hell? gentlemen's facilities. Suddenly I have an urgent need to drain my one-eyed snake. Well, I've had more than a few drinks, and uh, I've been sitting here for quite a spell. <laughs> right through there. Let me show you.
so much malarkey in my life. Uh, you think That's he's like bullshitting us? You don't think he's Silas Green? I think he's just some old drunk looking for some free liquor. I don't know, Jack. I think I believe him. You don't think he met Jesse Jenkins? Boy, you gotta be kidding me. That story makes no sense at all. Jack. I mean, you gotta be too great short of a load to believe that cock and bull story. I don't agree. Jack, lay off. Oh, you seriously think that tired old man went toe to toe with Jesse James? Uh, well, that's better. Did I mention that this Jim was married to the infamous Bell Star? Of course, I didn't learn that until late. Anyway, I made my way forward the best I could. Around the side, over the wall. At some point, some some big saw me and shouted out, It's a damn banker! I never worked for that guy, my cocksucker. But I guess they assumed I was one of his assassins. Those evil bastards firebombed Jesse's mother's house and killed his stepbrother. So it's no wonder each and every asshole on that train wanted to be dead. Everybody's always mistaking you for somebody else, aren't they? Why is that, I wonder? Don't rightly know, Jack. I'm just telling you how I remember. I bet you are.
was looking for Jim and she shenanigans on so it stupid enough to get in my way. And that included Jesse James himself. <laughs> There were a lot of men determined to die that day. Jesse waiting for me. Fixing to kill me so he can get away with all that money. James. Just yeah, wounded him bad enough to convince him to hang, hang up guns. guns. What about what that Jim fella? fella? What happened to him? I figure he was up front with a gun to the engineer's head. head. That bastard it's slipped away, away again. again. I'll tell you how I got him. But first, first I need to wet my whistle. whistle. 